hello everyone and welcome to another episode of uh what is this free space yeah we're playing free space so we're going with free space one here so we play more of the cardinal spiegel uh mod which is basically two campaigns with uh four missions each so we will be uh continuing that here today um so yeah, we are on mission four of the first campaign. So this one, I'm not actually sure how to beat. So um, because the, my uh, big ship keeps getting uh, torpedoed to death, and there is a lot going on in this mission. So we might use the um, five tries and skip the next mission thing that 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 uh, free space offers for this one, and uh, so we can uh, move on to. Uh, the next mission, or the next campaign in this case. So yeah, we'll be doing that tonight, and then tomorrow uh, we will be um, playing some more Mighty Magic 3. And uh, we'll be doing that at 1 p.m. Eastern, so we will finish off the, uh, whatever the Wizard, the Warrior's Keep, or whatever that's called. Finish the last math problem there. And then probably explore the uh, basement of the castles. So we will be, uh, but I think we should be able to finish up uh, Island 1 this weekend. Because all we got left are the castle basement and the, uh, the pyramid. And I think that is about it for uh, the first area. So uh, yeah, so getting, getting close to finishing the first area anyway in uh, Might and Magic 3. So that'll be uh, tomorrow and Sunday. And uh, if we uh, get through this game today, we will be uh, starting uh, Tachyon on the Fringe tomorrow night at uh, 7 p.m. Which is another space game which I do not know much about. But uh, Bruce Campbell uh, does some voice acting. So uh, that should be uh, a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, we will uh, start that. So hopefully we get it done tonight. Not sure if we will. But, um, yeah, we'll definitely try. Okay, these missions have been uh, really brutal so far. So, welcome to the stream, uh, Duncan Tax and Jimmy Colorado, and Lord Manny. And thank you for the host as well, there, Lord Manny. And Evil Alien Space Princess. And Lou, the Draconic Dude. Yeah, I got some Bruce Campbell. Alright, let's get going here. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Alright, uh, let's get a uh, highlight of what this mission's about. Who knows, maybe I'll be this first try tonight. Probably not. GDA Command's worst fears have been confirmed. Galactic Terran Intelligence appears to have been given false information from our Vasudan contacts in the Talania system. There is no subspace node to Vasuda Prime in Talania. However, there is a node almost as valuable to Vega. The Vasudan fleet is pulling back to Vega, where the primary Vasudan shipyard of Tajurik Maang is located. Nearly two-thirds of the GDA Cardinal fleet has withdrawn to Vega. However, the Agamemnon as well as the 3rd and 5th fleets have been ordered to engage the Vasudan forces in the Talania to distract the Vasudans long enough for us to prepare a strike on the Turek Maang itself. Our orders are to destroy the Vasudan fleet in orbit of Talania 6. Report to briefing immediately. Uh, yes we do. We will do that. Pilot at 10, since we are already en route to the Vasudan forces in this system, this briefing will be quick and to the point. The Vasudan fleet presently within the Talania system has been located in orbit of the tropical moon of Talania 6B. In order to allow time for our forces in Vega to prepare for a strike against the Vasudan primary shipyards, GTA Command has ordered the GTD Agamemnon to engage and destroy the Vasudan forces in Talania with the assistance of the 3rd and 5th fleets. 
as much of the Agamemnon's fighter complement as possible will be launched, including Alpha Wing and the new prototype GTXF Hercules class heavy fighter. Alpha's orders will be to assist in the battle where needed. I am sorry that there is not enough time for a full briefing. So suit up and head to the flight deck immediately. Yeah, it's not giving much information now. Other than uh, yeah, I got to destroy the fleet and defend the Agamemnon here. That's the hard part. Defending the Agamemnon. I actually can survive this mission. Just defending that sh ship is. Uh... This is Alpha Two to Cardinal Fleet. The jump area is secure. You're clear to jump in and engage the Vatudan Task Force. This is GTA Command Affirmative Alpha 2, Cardinal Fleet preparing for jump. This is the GTD Agamemnon, Cardinal Fleet. Jump successful. All vessels are to engage the Vasudan Task Force. Repeat, all vessels engage the Sudan task force. Alright, let's go and uh, head over here and attack. This is the GTD Agamemnon, Alpha Lee. We are launching additional fighters to engage the Vasudan. Beta Wing has arrived, awaiting orders. Alpha 3, the Vasudan Task Force is turning around to engage our position. Heads up! We've got visitors! Gamma Wing has arrived. And the craft! Oh my! It'll be a well, that's a good start here. It's crashed already. Uh, let's do this again. Well, luckily, we we're just getting started, so we won't have to watch the intro again. That's the first time in a while that it's crashed. Ships, a lot of big, sh one big ship and a lot of smaller uh, vessels. But uh, we don't have a bomber, so we can't actually help with destroying these uh, ships very easily. GDA. This is Alpha Two to Cardinal Fleet. The jump area is secure. You're clear to jump in and engage the Vasudan Task Force. This is GTA Command Affirmative Alpha Two. Cardinal Fleet preparing for jump. This is the GTD Agamemnon Cardinal Fleet. Jump successful. All vessels are to engage the Vasudan Task Force. Repeat, all vessels engage the Vasudan Task Force. Blah, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, look, another challenge is starting, so definitely feel free to uh, put your uh, tracking points to that. Agamemnon to Alpha Lee. We are launching additional fighters to engage the Vasudans. Beta Wing has arrived, awaiting order. This is Alpha 3. The Vasudan Task Force is turning around to engage our position. New hostiles in the area. Alpha, 
Ares Wing is going kamikaze. They are targeting our cruisers. Stop them. Watch your back, sir. Well, we got Ares Wing. Got a bogey on your tail. A difference. I'm not exactly sure. Still in trouble here. No idea where those computers are coming from. Heads up! We've got visitors! Oh, 
Oh, it takes me fighters though. Shockwaves are also gonna be a problem here. But we were on the path of failure though anyway because my big ship was uh was uh almost uh blown to bits there. This is Alpha 2 to Cardinal Fleet. The jump area is secure. You're clear to jump in and engage the Vatudan task force. This is GTA Command Affirmative Alpha 2. Cardinal Fleet preparing for jump. Alright, uh, that's uh, I think we're gonna take care of the Aries ships. And then maybe uh, have all my guys try to disable the guns on the big ship. This is GCD Agamemnon, Cardinal Fleet. Jump to the All vessels are engaged at Sudan Task Force. Repeat, all vessels engaged at Sudan Task Force. So I think after five tries, we'll get that message. That was try number one. This is actually a long mission. This is the GTD Agamemnon to Alpha Lee. We are launching additional fighters to engage the Vasudan. Because there's no way for me to destroy these order. guys before we get, get, get close enough to the ship. This is Alpha 3. The Vasudan task force is turning around to engage our position. Enemy wing has just arrived. Gamma Wing has arrived, awaiting orders. We are so dead. Alright. Oops. 
try this again. This is Alpha 2 to Cardinal Fleet. The jump area is secure. You're clear to jump in and engage with the student task force. This is GTA Command, affirmative Alpha 2. Cardinal Fleet preparing for jump. Not really good for uh, taking out guns on uh, capital ships. This is the GTD Agamemnon to Alpha Lee. We are launching additional fighters to engage the Vasuda. Beta Wing has arrived, awaiting orders. This is Alpha 3. The Vasudan task force is turning around to engage our position. Whoa. Enemy wing has just arrived. Has arrived, awaiting orders. Us. Um, let's go with this arm. Roger, sir, disarming target. Oh, I think I know that each fighter is. New bandits in the area! Alpha, Ares Ring is showing Kamikaze. They are targeting our crew. Stop them! these fibers as quickly as possible. Just arrived. Another wing. Of 
still getting the other monitor is still getting crushed to pieces here. GTD Agamemnon has been destroyed, and maybe if there's a smaller, Jesus. not the uh, fighter ships, but Pilot the um... we are. This is Alpha Two to Cardinal Fleet. The jump area is secure. You're clear to jump well, in and engage the two task force. This is GTA Command, affirmative Alpha Two, Cardinal Fleet preparing for jump. Everybody jumps in. This is the GTD Agamemnon to Alpha Lee. We are launching additional fighters to engage the Vasudans. Beta Wing has arrived awaiting orders. This is Alpha 3. The Vasudan task force is turning around to engage our position. Attacking your target. New bandits in the area! Gamma Wing has arrived, awaiting orders. These guys. Definitely want to take those guys off.
Just arrived. Torpedo coming from somewhere. Ah, oh, no idea. Like exactly. Uh, fleet. Jump area is secure. You're clear to jump in. What order I need to kill things like? Force. This is GTA Command Affirmative Alpha Two. Cardinal Fleet preparing for jump. But those video ships are definitely bombers that we uh, that I took care of. <laughs> this is the GTD Agamemnon. But well, it didn't seem to have any really a real effect. All vessels are to engage the Sudan task force. Repeat, all vessels engage the Sudan task force. Everybody else to jump in. This is the GTD. So we'll probably need to do this two more times, I think, before the additional fighters off. to engage the Vasudans. Beta Wing has arrived, awaiting orders. This is Alpha Three. The Vasudan task force is turning around to engage our position. Heads up! We've got visitors. Oh, Gamma. Gamma Wing has arrived. Let's try, uh, let's try disabling it. Affirmative, targeting the engine. Enemy wing 
has just arrived. Alpha, every screen is going kamikaze. They are targeting our cruisers. Stop them. Excellent job, pilot. Check your six, pilot. Leo. Check your six, pilot.
Yep, yep, failed again. So this is like 10,000 bombers to take care of. They just make it almost very hard. This is Alpha 2 to Cardinal Fleet. Oh my. Jump area is secure. You're clear to jump in and engage the Vatudan Task Force. This is GTA Command Affirmative Alpha 2. Cardinal Fleet preparing for jump. Now, I wonder why we don't have any bombers. This is the GTD Agamemnon Cardinal Fleet. Jump successful. All vessels are to engage the Sudan Task Force. Uh. All vessels engage the Sudan Task Force. And maybe I'll have them all defend again and see how that goes. What do y'all load in here? This is the GTD Agamemnon to Alpha Lee. We are launching additional fighters to engage the Vasudans. Beta Wing has arrived, awaiting orders. This is Alpha 3. The Vasudan Task Force is turning around to engage our position. Heads up, we have company! Gamma Wing has arrived, awaiting orders. Thank you for the raid. They are playing some uh, Cardinal Speed mod good. here, which is pretty hard. Good kill. Yep, yep. Here we go. Trying anyway. This mission is uh, pretty hard. Oh, we didn't kill these Leos.
Uh... Taking damage. Request cover. Should take on the sun. Oh, my. Oh, this is so tough. 
Oh, that's uh, like we said, Lou is kind of advanced since we've been playing this one for like uh, two streams now. So Lou is just going to go ahead and uh, advance to the next mission here. That's the end of the first campaign. So yeah, let's check out the uh, Cardinal Spear Vega. And uh, let's see, uh, see what, how this one plays out. Good afternoon, pilot. The victory in Talania's system came at a high cost. The official death count of GDA forces is 892 men and women dead, 64 missing, and presumed dead. The Agamemnon has jumped from the orbit of Talania 6B to its current position near the Talania Vega jump point, where we await orders from the rest of the Cardinal fleet to make the jump to Vega. Though our orders from GTA Command are to wait to command the jump into the Vega system, we have received distress signals from several assumed destroyed GTA craft within the debris field left from the Battle of Thalania. The Agamemnon will launch several fighter wings to find the source of these signals and to retrieve survivors, if any. I'm sure it's possible, but you have to be lucky. Very lucky. And yeah, destroy all those videos before they can get the torpedoes off. Uh, oh, let's check this out. Pilot at 10. Our resident squadron has returned with reconnaissance information that confirms the distress signal from the ET. Tripoli. The Tripoli is currently adrift within the debris field left from the Battle of Delani. We will be launching Alpha Wing of Apollo class fighters and Beta Wing of Angel Scout fighters to escort Transport Omega as it retrieves the survivors on board the Tripoli. Be warned that there will most likely be the Sudan Raiders in the area. All the Sudan craft that pose a threat to the Tripoli must be destroyed. Also note that the Tripoli's hull is at critical. Unless Omega is clear from the Tripoli, the Tripoli's destruction will destroy the transport as well. Your primary objective is to defend Omega and to retrieve the surviving crew on board the Tripoli. Once Omega has retrieved the survivors, the transport's crew will arm explosives and destroy the Tripoli to prevent it from falling to enemy hands. Pilot, you are dismissed. Oh uh, boy, this is gonna be tough. This is gonna be hard too. This is Transport Omega. We are en route to the GTC Tripoli. Uh, where is Omega? So we're gonna have waves of fighters here. So we got lasers here. Transport Omega to Alpha One. Please scan the Triple E for survivors. Alpha. 
says there are faint life signs aboard which your EM resonance scan detected. Transport Omega is cleared to dock to retrieve the survivors. Alpha, pursuit and raiders have emerged from the free field. Cover us. Oh god. Oops. Enemy wing has just arrived. Really? Another wing already? So, yeah, that mission over. I think so. Um, I think that's it. Let's jump out. Excellent work defending Transport Omega. Her crew and the survivors of the GTC Tripoli thank you for your valiant efforts. The Cardinal Fleet has already jumped into the Vega system, and the Agamemnon will jump in five minutes and will then set course for the rendezvous point of the fleet, where our forces will mass to prepare for the strike on Tachirik Mang. Oh boy. Your next briefing is in 35 minutes. Until then, you are dismissed. Well, that was an uh, easy mission. I think that was the easiest mission of these, uh... Uh, the Cardo Spear so far. All GTA craft within the Cardinal fleet are ordered to jump into the Vega system. Once within Vega, set course to the rendezvous point. All personnel are to man their stations. Those not on duty are to report to their quarters immediately. Okay. Uh, go to stage two. To all personnel. The GDD Agamemnon subspace drives were sabotaged just prior to jump. We have discovered that the explosive device was planted during our resupply of the GDI Rio Grande. Clearly, the objective of this detonation was to destroy the Agamemnon subspace drive, so that the Agamemnon would not be able to arrive in the Vega system and will possibly be destroyed. Fortunately, the detonation of the explosive was delayed, and our subspace corridor remained stable. However, 
The Agamemnon lost all navigational control and was attracted by the gravitational pull of Vega 7, the gas giant planet on the fringe of the Vega system. Our engines and subspace drive assemblies have sustained heavy damage, but repairs are currently underway. Well, I've got to defend the Armenian my bet. Unfortunately, we have also lost contact with the rest of the Cardinal fleet due to our proximity to Vega 7, whose gravitational field is disrupting our long-range transmissions. We cannot call for reinforcements oh, or great. request updates on the status of the task force. However, the Agamemnon will launch recognizance rings to deploy a sensor and navigation buoy system around Vega 7, which can be altered to carry and receive signals from the other vessels within the fleet. You are to report to the briefing room immediately. The wings should be ready for launch at any moment, in case of possible Vasudan attacks. Alright, that's another defend mission here. Pilot at 10. The sensor network around Vega 7 has nearly been completed. Unfortunately, it appears that a small Vasudan task force of three A-10 class cruisers has detected this network of buoys and is following the transmission from the buoys to their source, the GTD Agamemnon. The Agamemnon is recalling all of its reconnaissance wings. However, it appears that the Vasudan task force will reach our position before any of our reconnaissance patrols. The Epsilon Wing of Angel Scout Fighters is defending the Agamemnon at present. Alpha Wing of Apollo Space Superiority Fighters will be launched to assist Epsilon in the Agamemnon's defense. Our repair crews recently discovered that our fighter bays were damaged from the jump. We will barely be able to launch a handful of reinforcement craft, if any. Do not expect the Agamemnon to be able to launch enough craft to suitably counteract the possibility of a suit of reinforcements. Of course not. The Vasudan task force is moving closer to the Agamemnon's position with every moment. Make haste to the flight deck. Well, I do not have to destroy these ships, probably. Alpha, the Vasudan task force's ETA is 30 seconds. We are mustering all of the fighters available for launch and recalling our patrols. But until then, you and Epsilon are all we have. Oh, I got lasers, and I got, oh, I got some missiles. Alright. Agamemnon, the student task force is jumping in. Engaging now. Enemy wing just arrived! Oh, we got three items. Uh, this is gonna be fun. Take these guys out. These right, guys are uh, pretty easy. I only have lasers though, so.
shot. A lot of hits. You know, I got lasers here. Oh, they're in half the image there. the fighters whoa nice to got a gun We got this. I think we got this. And that's just some more surprises. Even if I don't die, of course. Be, you gotta be careful here. Because you get too close to these ships and they explode and then you get killed with the shockwave. Bombers are inbound. Alpha, as soon as those bombers are in range, you are to destroy them. We are launching beta wing of Gorgon class bombers. ETA, 15 seconds. <laughs> 
than just uh, killing the, killing the uh, initial crew. Now I got lasers. Range sensors do not detect any nearby pursuit patrols. Excellent work, Halton. You are clear to return to base. All right, awesome, cool. So, um, yeah, it wasn't too bad either. Yeah, the first campaign was pretty tough. This one hasn't been too bad so far. Your successful defense of the Agamemnon is to be commended. The entire crew thanks you for your skillful efforts. It is clear that the Vasudans know of our status and position. Fortunately, we have managed to repair our primary drive system, and so the Agamemnon is now en route towards the rendezvous point of the fleet. We still have no word from any of the other vessels within the Cardinal fleet, and we are recalling our reconnaissance patrols to lower our chance of detection for Vasudan forces in this system. Report to the briefing room immediately. If the situation changes, we will need all available pilots to be ready for launch as soon as possible. Dismissed. Oh boy. This. Yep, I did it. Yep, I uh, defended the Armenium from the uh, bombers and the uh, cruisers. So, yeah, this is going to be mission three or four here that we'll be going to. The Agamemnon is approximately one hour from the rendezvous point of the Cardinal fleet. However, we have launched forward scout patrols and there has been no sign of the fleet. Admiral Ikeyev, commander of the GDD Agamemnon, believes that the fleet has been destroyed and perhaps the entire operation in the Vega as a trap set by the Vasudans. However, it is our mission to destroy the Churik Maang and our duty. Admiral Igeyev and the command staff of the Agamemnon have assembled the plan of attack upon the Vasudan installation dubbed Operation Spear in the Dark. Previous reconnaissance reported that the Tariq Maang was in orbit of Vega 5, however it is now certain that Vega 5 was an ambush set up against the Cardinal fleet. Reconnaissance patrols have discovered that there is no installation in orbit of that planet, but that the Tariq Maang is in fact in orbit of Vega 2. Ikeyev believes that the recognizance information that GDI received was falsified, 
their hats by a trade. Several reconnaissance wings will attempt to find other vessels within the Cardinal fleet. In the meantime, all other wings will be engaging the communication and sensor arrays in orbit of Vega 2 to hamper that Chirik Maang's ability to call for reinforcements. Mm. Oh boy, this sounds like a hard mission. Pilot at 10, the GTT Agamemnon is preparing to strike against the Vasudan primary shipyards of Tachirik Mang. The planet of Vegan 2 is surrounded by a network of communications buoys used by the Vasudan installation to maintain communication with other Vasudan forces in the Vega system. Wings from the Agamemnon will be launched to destroy these buoys. This will in turn hamper the communications of Tachirik Mang and will allow time for a strike with minimal chances of Vasudan reinforcements. Alpha Wing will be launched to destroy one of the communications buoys located in one of the Trojan asteroid fields sharing the orbit of Vega 2. The communications buoy is protected by four sentry guns which are used for point defense against asteroids. To lower the chances of detection, as well as the chance of a Sudan reinforcements, the Agamemnon will maintain radio silence until the buoy and its respective turrets are destroyed. What? The asteroids within this field are primarily composed of neutronium, which is known to interfere with intrasystem subspace drives. However, there is a natural intrasystem jump node which is presently 4 kilometers away from the communication buoy's position. Due to the interference from the asteroids, you can only jump out through this node, and you must be less than 500 meters from the center of the node for your jump drives to operate correctly. The fate of the GTA may stand on the outcome of this mission. You must not fail. Dismissed. What the... Intersystem nodes. I wonder if we're gonna find... Every Communications map. buoy is about four kilometers away. Maneuvering to engage. Okay, I have to go right there. This should be an easy mission, but I'm sure it's more to it than just destroying these things. Entries have been destroyed. Radio silence has been lifted. You are clear to return to the intrasystem jump point. Okay, so. Uh, is that the mission? That is uh, pretty easy. So we have to come back here. Alpha 1. Oh boy, look at all those ships. Enemy wing just arrived. Atten class cruisers have jumped in and are attempting to blockade the node. Alpha, that node is your only means of escape. You will have to evade the Aten cruisers and their fighter cover to make it to the node. Ah, uh, we got, we got this. This is the GTC, one of the Cardinal Fleet to GTA fighters. We've been hunting these cruisers and we require assistance. This is the GTD Agamemnon to the GTC Worm and Alpha Wing. GTC Worm, we are launching craft to assist. Alpha, you are to remain oh, in the we area have to kill these guys. Arrives. On their arrival, you are to return to the Agamemnon. Check your six, pilot. Alright. The enemy wing just arrived. Uh, of course, this mission is not going to be easy. Where's this is Beta Wing. We will render assistance for the GTC Worm until further wings from the Agamemnon arrive. Alpha, you are clear to return to the Agamemnon. Okay. 
Okay, and the, the button by the weapon there's three. Yeah, pretty intense. Let's get as long as I not die. Head out of here. Alpha, you are in range of the jump point. Engage your subspace drive. Whew, that was close. of the Vasudan communications buoy 
combined with the other strikes launched on the Agamemnon, have destroyed the Vasudan communication and sensor network in orbit of Vega 2. Kachirik Mang will be unable to detect our approach and unable to call for reinforcements. From the crew of the GTC Worms account, the Vasudan cruisers that jumped in were remnants of the Vasudan task force that destroyed the Cardinal fleet. The Worm was the only GTA ship to survive the attack, and their account confirms Admiral Akiev's beliefs of what became of the fleet. Fortunately, the Vasudan forces that destroyed the Cardinal fleet are now scattered throughout this system. Now may be our only chance to strike against Tachirik Mang itself. Report to the briefing room in 10 minutes. We have no time to spare. Dismiss. Alright, final mission. The final mission. So definitely the second campaign is definitely a lot easier than the uh, first campaign. The uh, first campaign uh, for Cards of is definitely tough. Tough. Pilot attend. The GTD Agamemnon is currently approaching the Vasudan primary shipyard in Vega, Kachirik Mang. There is very little information available on the PVI Karnak class installation. However, we know that this installation is powered by one central fusion reactor whose excess energy and radiation is vented from the station. The radiation overloads the ship's targeting system, making aspect lock impossible. Alpha Wing will be launched from the Agamemnon to verify the installation's position and to signal if the area is safe for the Agamemnon's arrival. As soon as the Agamemnon arrives, it will launch fighters and bombers to engage the installation. The GTC Worm will also jump in shortly after the Agamemnon and will supply fire and defensive support for our fighters and bombers while they engage the installation. It is not known if there is credence to the rumor of the Vasudan Ace known as Deathclaw being in this system. However, be on guard during your operation, because if Deathclaw is within this system, he would undoubtedly be on Tachirik Mang. Oh boy, we have an Ace! Your directives are clear, and we expect you to follow them. Call in the GTD Agamemnon and defend her while engaging the installation. The Agamemnon must survive. Destroying Tachirik Mang and defending the Agamemnon are your top priorities. Alright, let's do it. Remember that the fate of the GTA and humanity depend on the outcome of the upcoming battle. Dismissed. Alright, this is probably going to be challenging. This is Alpha Wing to the GTD Agamemnon. The area is clear for you to jump in. Communications are being jammed. We'll pull back out of the range of the jammer. Tachirik Mang is launching fighters to intercept us. Terran Riz, I am Dachara Bachara, whom you call Deathclaw. I challenge you to a duel. If you are the victor, we will lower the communications jammer so that you may call in your Agamemnon. If you fail, your race shall perish under the heel of the Suda. Accept the challenge, or face your doom. Alright. The jammer's range extends too far. There's no other option to deal with it. See how tough this death fire is. Excellent, Terran. Fight against the sons of the Suda. It will be your downfall. We got a boat you on your tail. You shall be crushed by our might. Oh, it's that far. You cannot defeat the Suda's fight. Oh, we are. My name is Hold Off the Flame. 
Seems like the only way to get this guy. GTD Agamemnon. We are launching all fighter and bomber wings to engage the installation. The GTC worm will be jumping in momentarily. Right. Oh, Epsilon wing has arrived. Awaiting orders. This is basically beginning bombing run on the installation. Alpha, the suit and fighters are incoming. Defend the Agamemnon and the bombers we are launching. Worm here. Commencing attack. That's the easy, pretty easy mission, I think. We'll see what happens here. Mr. Horst, I think this is the uh, bomber. I 
Agamemnon, this is Worm. We've detected a weak point in the station's hull. It appears to be a blast door over a large cooling vent. Alpha, we're taking a beating. We need more cover. Alpha, investigate the blast door. If it does lead to the reactor, we might be able to destroy it and cripple the installation. Alright, the blast doors. I gotta take care of this guy first and I'll look at that. Enemy wing has just arrived. Too late. be able to do it this way. Um, hey, me and two ships, you know. Everybody else is dead. Just arrived. 
Yeah. Like unlimited enemies that keep popping in. Go in there. Doesn't show up on the map. Um, go behind here, maybe. some sort of uh, blast door you can destroy. If I the blast door, I'd be somewhere... In the center somewhere, right? To destroy the uh, reactor. I'll play the uh, Wing Commander with the uh, joystick. We got a little bit with the keyboard. Theoretically, right? How about the theory until you can prove it? But I don't see any way you can actually destroy this thing. Let us find out where it's at, so next time we do this... I guess, but 
I get blocks to go in there. Last two will be destroyed like a couple of hits, or uh, I'll take some take some hits before it's the, uh, destroyed. Anybody else? My uh, where is this completely destroyed? Slow down. But I said between the pylons. Somewhere in here. Send hall integrity, so well, I think it'd be in here somewhere, but Back here, we can barely get in here. Okay, there is uh, but it's not going to destroy it. Are those can not the blast doors. What is that blast door? Straight, but I gotta be careful. I have one percent uh, hull integrity, so I can't. You do too much here.
But I can't find it. Maybe something should be something obvious, right? Oh, these things, maybe. I think these are the engines. I think it, oh, it looks like an obvious uh, block, uh, a uh, block door. Um, Enemy wing has just arrived. Uh, in the way of a uh, hall. Let's try again. Maybe I'll listen to that message more carefully to see what exactly that. Uh, this is Alpha Wing to the GTD Agamemnon. Uh, blast the area is clear for you to jump in. Communications are being jammed. We'll pull back out of the range of the jammer. Chirik Mang is launching fighters to intercept us. Terran, I am the Chara of the Chara, whom you call Death Claw. I challenge you to a duel. If you are the victor, we will lower the communications channel so that you may call in your Agamemnon. Well, that looks like if you fail, your rank shall perish under the heel of the Tuna. Accept the challenge, or face your doom. Excellent perish. Fight against the sons of the Tuna. It will be your downfall. The jam's range extends too far. We have no other options but to duel them. Well, let's take care of this. You shall be crushed by our might. You cannot defeat the Tuna's fight. My name is Hold of the Flame. Can you feel me holding the destiny of your in a flame? This guy's just a pain in my butt. Wing has arrived. 
Alpha. The suit is quite the new incoming. Defend the Agamemnon and the bombers we are launching. Worm here. <laughs> Commencing attack. Point in the hall in the middle of the two large vertical pylons in the other way. Blast door. If it does lead to the reactor, we might be able to destroy it and cripple the installation. Alpha, we're taking a beating. We need more cover. the other side of this humongous structure here. Hey there, Ambazine, and welcome to the stream. They're trying to figure out this last mission here. Quite figure out where they can't find the blast doors. Here. 
Enemy wing has just arrived. the last mission of the Cosmo Steel campaign. Well, I have a trouble finding where the blast doors are. New hostiles in the area. No, I know it's between two vertical pylons. The area is clear for you to jump in. Communications are being jammed. We'll pull back out of the range of the jammer. The Chirik Mag is launching fighters to intercept us. Uh -huh. Oh, we got killed that far. I am the Chara of the Chara, whom you call Death Claw. I challenge you to a duel. If you are the victor, we will lower the community. Well, actually, I forgot where that's at again. So you may call it your Why would he shoot the community? Right? To suffer his fate. If you fail, your race shall perish under the heel of the Suda. Accept the challenge, or face your doom. Excellent parody. Fight against the sons of the Suda. It will be your downfall. You shall be crushed by our might. You cannot defeat the student's fight. So the jammer's range extends too far. There's no other option but the dual death.
guy's annoying to kill. Claw. The jamming has been lifted. This is Alpha Wing to the GGD Agamemnon. Area is clear to jump in. Repeat. Area is clear. This is the GGD Agamemnon. Uh... We are launching all fighter and bomber wings to engage the installation. The GTC work will be jumping in momentarily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alpha Wing is ready. Epsilon Wing has arrived, awaiting orders. This is big. Oh, oh man, I know it's bombing run on the installation. Alpha, the suited fighters are incoming. Defend the Agamemnon and the bombers we are launching. Worm here, commencing attack. I'm gonna destroy the uh, first wave here.
escape blast door. If it does lead to the reactor, we might be able to destroy it and cripple the installation. I like to find out where exactly that's at. Where are the uh to my uh, ships now. Enemy wing has just arrived. Alpha, that corridor appears to lead straight to the reactor core. We need you to destroy the reactor so our bombers have a chance to take out the installation. Alpha, you're in the reactor core. The hub is too thick for communication. Quickly turn around and speed up and get the hell out of here. Got the cores are always uh, a problem. Excellent right? work, pilot. You exceeded our greatest expectations by defeating Deathclaw and Tachiric Mang itself. The destruction of the installation will severely hamper all of us and shipbuilding operations. This will buy us valuable time to rebuild our own fleet and to reassemble our forces to continue our war to end the Vasudan threat. GTA Command has authorized us to award you the Galactic Service Medal. This medal is only awarded to the finest and most skilled pilots of the Galactic Terran Alliance. Wear it proudly. Alright, that was the second campaign of the uh, Cardinal Spear campaign. So, the second campaign I think was definitely much better than the first one, mainly because uh, not nearly as difficult. And you actually knew uh, kind of what you had to do. Obviously, in the last mission, you had to kind of figure out uh, where exactly the uh, blast doors were. But uh, other than that, um, yeah, it was uh, pretty, uh, fairly smooth sailing. Obviously, it was not easy missions to begin with, but uh, they were definitely uh, kind of knew what to do pretty much in the uh, second campaign. Uh, the first campaign was a lot of uh, different. Strats you had to use that you normally wouldn't use, which is kind of cool. And you get to play with uh, new kinds of weapons that we uh, haven't had in Free Space 1. But that last mission in the uh, first campaign is like uh, really hard. And um, you know, this gets on ships after ships after ships, and eventually my uh, battle cruiser gets destroyed, and then we lose the mission. But uh, yeah, that is going to be all for uh, Free Space. Uh, so we'll be starting up uh, Tacky on the Fringe uh, tomorrow. So tomorrow night at 7 p.m. We will um, yeah, we will start uh, a new game. And uh, we're going back out into space once more. And um, yeah, we will uh, see what that game's all about. Uh, Manny here tells me it's a lot like Privateer. Not sure how much of privateer it's like. Um, and uh, yeah, we will, we will do that. We will uh, play that. 
We'll see how that goes. There'll be some more space action. And of course, we'll have also more Might and Magic 3 uh, tomorrow afternoon at 1 p.m. And uh, we should uh, probably finish up uh, Might and Magic 3 uh, First Island uh, tomorrow. Yes, yeah, so you got Bruce Campbell voice acting in Attack on the Fringe as well. So, uh, that's gonna be cool. So, it's probably gonna be a cool game. And, uh, yeah, so we'll probably be, we'll have to do a bit of grinding in the beginning, probably in Attack on the Fringe. It probably won't be much story stuff. But we'll see how the game plays out and stuff. And, uh, yeah, so definitely follow me here on Twitch and Twitter and Discord and YouTube. And all that good stuff. Yeah, if you haven't already, please feel free to uh, donate to the Booster Stream thing. It would be very much appreciated as always. And, uh, yeah, because that will help uh, get more traffic to the stream if we meet our goal. Which I assume we can throw at the uh, 40,000... 40,250 mark, yeah. So, um, yeah, while I uh, can find somebody to raise, you guys can do that. And uh, oh, let's uh, do that now. Let's see who is on that we can uh, raid here. Oh, let's see here. Okay, let's go and uh, find who to wait tonight. Let's see, anybody's playing space games? Uh, mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, let's go give Spirius a raid. Spirius ECG, he's playing some uh, Eli Dangerous. So we'll hop into one space game to another here. So let's go and uh, yeah, let's give, uh, see how Spirius is doing. So uh, yeah, thanks again everyone uh, for coming out here today. And yeah, hope to catch you guys again tomorrow for some more, uh, more streams. So Might Magic 3 and... Uh, Tacky on the fringe. So I hope to see you there.